Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you are having the most fantastic day and I thank you so much for tuning in. Well, as you can see everyone, I am sitting at my desk and I'm about to do another DIY for you. Uh, I've got several pieces here and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about them. I'm going to be using some paint and uh, the paint is made by Treasure Gold. Uh, and I'm also going to be making over some of these uh, items that I have on my desk. Now, um, these cylinders that I'm about to show you, you can purchase them from uh, your local Dollar Tree. But I was fortunate to find several pieces that are Dollar Tree pieces in my thrift shop. So instead of paying a dollar for these, I paid 25 cents. Uh, so let's just say I bought I bought everything that they had. Again, these are those dollar store um, bases that you can buy at your Dollar Tree. I found those for 25 cents. Now, this vase was on sale at the Goodwill. It was originally marked for $3.99, but I found the vase again on uh, a clearance day, and I paid 75 cents. So those are the pieces that we're going to make over and um, I hope you enjoy what I do with them. Now, I'll tell you that uh, this particular DIY is going to have two purposes. One, it's actually kicking off my wedding series, so I'm going to be doing some different looks that will be suitable for weddings in the next few videos that I do. Uh, I'm going to work with some colors that you haven't seen me work with before, um, and they're going to be pink and gold, and towards the end, I'll even add in a little green. Um, and um, also, I'm participating in a collaboration. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the collaboration as we get into the DIY, but right now, what we're going to do is get started. Now, if you're new to the channel, then you wouldn't know. But if you, you know, of course, if you subscribe and watch the videos, then you know that this is how I start. But the first thing I always do when I'm using this paint uh, and I'm making over pieces like this is to add a light coat um, and you want to keep your brush strokes even. And uh, basically, I'm going to do this to all of the pieces and then I'm going to let uh, each coat dry. Uh, in between coats. I try to let it dry for several hours and um, usually I end up putting three coats in all before I get the look that I want. And again the paint that I'm using is made by Treasure Gold. I'll make sure that I leave that information down in my description box. All right guys now let me tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing here and about the collaboration that I mentioned at the beginning. So this collaboration is in honor of um, Mental Health Month. Many of you may not know, uh, or some of you do know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Last year, um, I hosted my very first collaboration and it was in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. So I wanted to do it again this month and I plan to do it every year that I'm on YouTube. Now I've got some lovely ladies that are helping me uh, with this collaboration and I want to share their names. I've also got them linked down in my description box. Of course, you know, if you're watching this channel, I'm DIY Designed by CCW. My name is Candy. I've also got Liz of Jazzy Green Decor Style. I've got Design and Style with Stacy, the glam queen of DIY. Her name is Tammy. Debbie Bubbles, also Erica of Love is the Main Key. We've got Glamour Ellen, and uh, we've also got Dee of the Designer's Loft. Now, each of the ladies is going to be doing something different. They might be doing a DIY, they might do a tablescape, they might do home decor. However, whatever they do, um, they're going to be talking to you at some point in their video about mental health. 
Now guys, I'm gonna jump back into the DIY, then I'll tell you a little bit more about Mental Health Awareness Month. So what you see me doing here is, I don't always show it, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when I'm putting a second coat uh, on one of the pieces. So this is the base that I just put the first coat on, and uh, I've let that dry for about six hours, and now I'm just coming back and applying the second coat. Now after the second coat, I'm gonna let this coat dry, and then I'll come back and I'll do a third coat. Now, uh, while you're watching that, I wanna go ahead and share with you some statistics about mental health and why it's so important that we focus on it. First of all, uh, since 2011, mental health uh, or mental illness has been on the rise. In fact, uh, there's not been a, they haven't seen a decrease, you know, in the cases since 2011. But the thing is, 24% of those that suffer from some sort of mental health uh, condition are not receiving the proper treatment. So this year, the message is, you are not alone. We've got to remove the stigma so that people feel comfortable seeking treatment. And um, that's what this is all about, why I'm happy to do this this year. And uh, every year that I'm on YouTube, I do plan on hosting or being a part of this mental health awareness collaboration. All right, guys, so now I'm going to jump back into the DIY. So what you've been watching me do here is I am working on the candle base. Now I'm going to show you a different angle so that you can see what I'm doing close up. So what I've also been doing uh, recently is kind of working with scraps and pieces of uh, bling wrap and materials that I already have in my stash and I'm doing the same thing here. So what I did is I had some leftover uh, two millimeter closed chain wrap. This comes from BB Craft. I'll make sure to put a link down in my description box. And I'm using that uh, to trim out my candle base. So as you can see, I added a little bit around the uh, edge where the paint and the uh, clear part of the candle base uh, you know, meets. Now I'm adding a little bit around uh, the neck of the candle base. Now, a lot of times, guys, when I'm doing these DIYs, I kind of am making it up as I go. Like, I'll sort of have an idea, like I want to use these colors, I want to use these pieces, but I may not exactly know where I'm headed with this, or where I'm headed with the DIY when I start. And that's kind of how this one was. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I did know that I wanted to use pink and gold, and um, I do see a lot of beautiful wedding receptions uh, done in pink and gold, and I think it's a really nice color. Now, if you are looking at this to get inspiration for your wedding reception and you're a DIYer, or you plan to do uh, a DI, you know, DIY your your reception decor. Um, these, the, this particular DIY is really going to be easy to duplicate. Uh, again, all you need is the paint. And then again, you don't even need the paint. If you wanted to, you can just uh, use the bling wrap on plain glass. But again, you can find these cylinders and these bases at your local Dollar Tree. You can also order them in bulk. And I'm going to leave a link down in my description box because I am a Dollar Tree affiliate that will allow you to order the, you know, your, your pieces in bulk. And um, same thing with this bling wrap. This bling wrap, uh, you can get it, you know, I think it's 10 feet, I think, uh, it is usually what you get in a roll. And uh, it's really not expensive, you know. So if you're planning on doing this yourself, you certainly can do it. You'll need some bling wrap, you'll need some glue, and go ahead and get started. Of course, you don't have to place uh, your bling wrap on your cylinders the way I'm doing it. Uh, again, I kind of didn't know what I was going to do when I started with this one, but, you know, as I started doing it, I got a vision and I sort of went with it. Um, but here you see me cutting some smaller strips because what I decided to do was to add a little bit of bling wrap around the top, 
little bit of bling wrap around the rim and uh, I think I'm going to then add maybe a little decorative brooch to this and then uh, I'll glue it to my candle base and this will be done. So really simple and again I'm using the colors of pink and gold for this particular uh, DIY. However, envision this in your colors, whatever they are. Is it purple and silver, blue and white, blue, whatever it is, whatever your theme is, um, you know, you can find, I'm sure, bling wrap to match that, you know, color palette that you've chosen for your reception, and you can do this. Um, now, the, and then think about your, your reception hall, you know, it, it is, are the ceilings low? Uh, what type of height of centerpiece are you going to need? Um, what overall, do you have a theme? So uh, I'll be doing a couple more videos like this, maybe three, I think more, where I'll share some ideas of centerpieces that I think would work for a wedding. And um, I may do some, some other videos on my other channel, which is, uh, you know, Tablescapes by Candy, where I actually take these pieces and use them in a tablescape and kind of give you an idea of what they would look like at your reception. But, um, but anyway, that's what I'll be doing. All right, guys, I've been talking for 12 minutes now. I'm going to be quiet, let you watch this, and then I'll be back. For, when the, for the next part of the DIY. Hey guys, I'm back and we're going to now jump ahead and work, start working on the vase. Now, the vase is going to be really simple. Uh, basically, you see I have it laying on its side and I'm going to start adding some bling wrap. Um, I like to lay it on its side at least for the first strip so that I could really see it and make sure that it's straight. Uh, then for the second strip, I you know, let the first strip dry a little bit. Then I turn the vase and uh, try to make sure that I go on the opposite side and uh, apply, <clears throat> excuse me, the second strip. And then I do the same for the third and fourth strip. Now, after that's done, <clears throat> I'll look at decorating the hem or the uh, neck of the vase. I start with the hem sometimes, and then sometimes I start with the neck or the belt line. And the reason I refer to it that way, if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't know. Uh, and if you're not new, then you this is a repeat for you. But when I'm doing a vase, I think of it like a little like a fancy dress or a ball gown. So you'll hear me use terms like that, neck or hem or belt line. But that's why, because in my head, that's what this vase looks like to me. And that's the reason I like <clears throat> using 
Uh, and you'll see me doing quite a few of these ginger vases in my DIYs. All right, guys, so here I'm adding a little gold uh, fabric trim to the hem of my uh, vase. And this fabric trim comes from uh, Joanne Fabric. I'll make sure that I link that down in my description box. I'm also going to add some, some uh, fabric trim to the belt. And uh, I think I do add a little bit around the rim of the vase as well. Now, I do a little bit off camera for this one. And guys, it's not because I don't want you to see me do it. It's just that, do that last piece. It's just that usually I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I try to think it through and I think I'm finished. Maybe I'm going to just add a, a brooch or something. And then I come up with something else or I, I think it just doesn't have enough uh, or doesn't say enough or doesn't speak to me. And I add a little bit more. Uh, so that's why sometimes when we get to the final reveal, you'll see that I've done a little something. But anyway, I'll let you watch this last part and uh, I'll be back for the final reveal. Hang on. All right, everyone, and here is how the pink and gold wedding centerpiece turned out. This is a close-up of the face, and um, that's a close-up of one of the candle holders, and this is a close-up of the other candle holder. Now let's take a closer look at everything. You know what? This vase is my favorite. I really, really like the vase, and I think the pink and the gold make beautiful, just look beautiful together. And if you are planning a wedding reception and you pink and gold, if that's in your color palette, hopefully this gives you, or that's the color that you're planning on having at your wedding, you can see that pink and gold does definitely go together. Now, I think I like the vase a lot more than I do these candle holders. Now that I'm, <clears throat> now that I'm looking at them, I think I could have done a little bit more to kind of bring them up a notch and maybe they would have been pretty with the same uh, fabric trim that I used on the vase. So if you're doing this DIY, that's something for you to think about. Uh, but, you know, I think I like them, but I do like the way the vase looks even more than I like the uh, candle holders, although they're okay. They're okay. Um, and uh, as you can see for the candle holders, again, using some scrap materials I had. I had some of that two millimeter um, closed chain wrap left over from BB Craft. Also, these brooches come from BB Craft. Uh, there's, they come 12 in a pack. I'll make sure to leave a link for those as well. Uh, so if you're planning to do this, the fabric trim or the bling wrap rather comes from eFavor Mark. So here we're looking at the other uh, cylinder. And uh, now let's get to the vase, which in this particular DIY, this vase is my favorite part. So as you can see, I added a little tiny bit more to this vase off camera. Now I'll tell you what I did, and it wasn't anything uh, too complicated to do. What I ended up doing was just adding that little extra piece of fabric trim down the center. Um, I added an additional piece of fabric trim to the neck. Uh, 
I think you saw me do one piece on camera uh, and then I rimmed it out with uh, some additional fabric trim or rather bling wrap kind of did that around it to create that look and then added the brooch now again I just didn't know what I wanted to do for that particular piece until after uh, I was finished filming, so I apologize for not doing all of that on camera, but um, you know, I really like how it turned out, and I hope you do too. Now here we're going to look at some of the pieces in the back. We have our, uh, uh, that's a vase that I did in another DIY. Uh, that's another vase that was done in another DIY, and um, that was done with the same paint or the same gold shade of gold as the uh, DIY you're watching currently. And then I have some other cylinders in the back that I did. They're Dollar Tree cylinders. Um, that jar was done at the same time uh, as that face in the back. And then you saw another jar that I did in another video. So again, guys, that's all I had for you today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And remember, please go and visit all of the ladies who co-hosted, uh, or hosted, rather, uh, this collaboration. And again, you know who I am, but there's also Liz, Jazzy Green Decor Style, Design and Style with Stacy, the Glam Queen of DIY, Debbie Bubbles, Love is the Main Key, D of Designers Love, and Glamour Ellen. Now, Again, I've left links to all of their channels down in my description box. Um, I hope that you'll go and visit them today, show them some love, and remember that we came together uh, to bring focus to Mental Health uh, Awareness Month. And again, this is the Mental Health Awareness Collaboration for 2021. And just remember, if you or anyone else that you know uh, suffers from, um, you know, mental illness. Just remember this year's message is that you are not alone. So again, everyone, I thank you so much for watching. If you're not a member of the channel, I really hope that you'll consider subscribing today. I'd love to have you be a part of the family. And if you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. Again, uh, thank you for watching. And like I say at the end of every video, can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night.